everyone, and welcome to Autzen Stadium, home of the Oregon Ducks and the House of Loud, a place where great teams go to die. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Michigan State Spartans taking on the fourth-ranked team of the land, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, and guys, can't wait to get this one started. will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Spartans offense will have the first possession of the game. And all eyes on this man as he takes the field. The defense knows they're going to try to throw in the football, and it probably won't matter, guys. Oh, but the defense, Reese, will be locked in. He will see double coverage. They will know where he's at on every single snap, Jesse, or else you will get beat quick, fast, and in a hurry. He's one of the few receivers in the country, guys, where if it's man coverage, he's open, zone coverage, he's open. If he's double coverage, he's open. Throw that guy the ball. And the Spartans want to move quickly. Leaves it with the running back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Dropping back, it's Childs. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle. It's belly. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. The Spartans line up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. The Ducks offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. He's taking the shot. He's got it on the right. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Ducks! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Just under 60,000 in this place, but sometimes it sounds like 600,000. An engineering marvel to hold in all this noise. Yeah, it's unbelievable. They love their team. They support the Ducks, and they built traditions. And so many teams they should be proud of. Getting them involved early is a great sign for this football team. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT makes it 7-0. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. 
The kickoff team out there and ready to go. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. The run from the shotgun. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He'll keep it himself. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Spartans will have it first and ten. Used to play fake, now to throw. Fires to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. That's a really good looking throw, and I love the decision right there. When I think back to my favorite Michigan State quarterback ever, it's Kirk Cousins. Wasn't the biggest, wasn't the strongest, fastest, didn't have the best arm. But he made good decisions. He read the defense and threw the ball accurately on time. This guy has the ability to do that, too. And if he keeps this up, this offense is going to be tough to stop. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Looking to throw, it's Childs. Finds a spot in the middle. Stopped at the 47-yard line, a 10-yard gain, and they'll move the markers. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is feel. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. They'll leave it with him. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Second and eight. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole, he's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You gotta make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a manageable situation. Off the boot, looking for his man. Throws to the tight end. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers and he couldn't hold on. Well, on third and short and field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. The field goal is no good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here on this next drive. 
Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air, it's Gabriel. Finds his big tight end. And he's down after the short completion. He did not make it to the first down marker. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. What that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play for him. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Here comes the option. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You could tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. Not only gets to him. Doesn't let him break a tackle. Gets him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. They'll give it to the back. Getting behind those pads and behind a stiff arm to get it out to the 27. Defense, man, you got to go low, and you got to chop that tree down, right? Go with the legs. Take the legs out from underneath them so he can't continue to churn those puppies out and get extra yards after contact like he did there. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught, but how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And they got him for the sack. Anytime a blitz gets home that fast, I'm going to call it a lot, okay? I'm going to use this one time and time again until they find some answers to how we got that linebacker to the quarterback that fast. Spartans will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Oh, how did you make that move? The coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Oh, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. And now put a nice drive together and execute. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll toss it to the left. Sweet beat on the move. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Well, this is a running back that gets stronger as the game goes on, and they try to get him going early on the toss play race. And if we start stretching the defense sideways, sometimes a little vulnerable in the middle later in the game. Yeah, and that might open an opportunity for a play action. Maybe fake the toss and see if you can get a tight end or a slot receiver down the middle of the field. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. The Ducks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? Have they been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, 
I'm gonna throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is gonna continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Grabbed in the middle, it's Stewart. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. The offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. On the ground, it's James. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Zings it complete to the right. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown! You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And they finished the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. They'll run play action. He's going for a big play downfield. It's complete. A huge pickup. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. And the Spartans moving quickly to the line. Fast motion from the offense. Gonna run it. It's Carter. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Tackle is made at the 42 yard line. Brings up. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. They go to the ground. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. They go to the draw. Only able to pick up a yard before he stopped, and now it's fourth and three. 
And that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bold, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. No good. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. You wonder if mechanically something is off with this kicker. That's now his second missed field goal of the day. And guys, we've got almost perfect conditions to kick the football. I'm not sure what's going on. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Just nosing into enemy territory at the 49. It's first and 10. Grabbed over the middle at Stewart. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. You always have to be aware of the running threat from the Oregon quarterbacks, but here getting business done through the air. No doubt, Reese, because you're worried about his legs, the read game, all the stuff they can do. It opens up the passing attack. And I think when you've seen the Ducks teams throughout history, the ones that have enough balance to keep you off guard, keep you guessing, are the ones that are the best teams. They'll try the run. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give out of the gun. Drives ahead for three to the 27-yard line. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Got his man down the middle. And he's brought down after a nice game. It's great to send that blitz and get the heat on the quarterback, but you might need a little help on the backside with this guy. Yeah, because now you're putting your guy in man-to-man -man situation against an elite receiver, and that's a tough battle to win. But you got to take those chances. You've got to be aggressive. The offense won that one. At least it wasn't a huge game-changing play. The give on the inside. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. He finds his man. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. He's looking to throw. Going for six. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks! You never know how it happens, but it happens. Defenses lose sight of those big, huge, pass-catching tight ends. You could tell there, maybe bit on the play fake a little bit too much. Lost him for a second. He takes care of the rest and gets the touchdown.
Ready to try the point after. Is on for the extra point. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. They marched 58 yards for the touchdown on that one. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. The Spartans want to crank the tempo. Dropping back, it's Childs. Got out of trouble and throws. Finds his big tight end. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Looking to move it through the air. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Second down now after the sack. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. Love the competitive nature by the defender on that play. That's just a 50-50 ball, and that defender swatted it away. This is a third and long. The give to the back. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the Spartans decide to punt it away. On the return, it's Johnson. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also, momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. And back to the air on second down. Fires to the big fella. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Oh, what a great play by the defense. Listen, that's why he plays defense. Yes, I get it. I get the jokes. Defensive guys can't catch real well. But the offense, they caught a big-time break right there. That could have been disaster on their side of the field. Could have been a big turnover that led to points. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. They've got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and ten. They'll run it. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Brings up second down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, a stirring start to things today in Eugene as we say hello from our broadcast studios. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. 
And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in Autzen Stadium. The Spartans will kick it away to start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Robinson. Stopped at the 26, brought it out in the end zone, picked up an extra yard. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. They'll open the second half with a run. They'll mark him down at the 37. It's a 10-yard gain. In halftime in this locker room, there's a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead. But you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in the second half. You're absolutely right here. And I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. And run the football, you're ahead, you can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass, this keeps everything in balance for this offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And he bats it away, it falls incomplete. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. They'll go back to the air on second down. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. They're trying to get to it. And he was hit just as he released it. And it falls to the turf. And look, I know this offense made some adjustments at halftime, and they couldn't wait to get back out on the field and try to generate a score. But their defense is playing lights out. So to me right now, this is a no-brainer. After the incompletion on third, just punt it away and let your defense eat. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. the play fake on first down wants to throw going for the big play and it goes through his hands oh he had an explosive play right there for the taking but couldn't reel it in well at this juncture in the game with how the scoreboard looks no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game and it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it you're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback not going to be easy And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. It's caught. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. And the Spartans will snap it on first and 10. To the ground with the back. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. 
Looking for a man. It's Childs. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the grab. Quarterback just missed him a little bit. Nice job by the defense there, taking all throws away from the quarterback. He had nowhere to put that football in the field to play, so that ball obviously had to go out of bounds. The Spartans headed quickly to the line. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? Touchdown, Oregon! Not content to get the fumble, they scored with the fumble. The defense striking with a scoop and score touchdown. And defense is about getting guys to the football. Sometimes you just get that hit, the ball pops out, more guys swarm into the football, great effort, scoop that thing up, and now do some damage with it. You always wanted to play offense anyways. You've heard that defensive player, offensive player, give me that six. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. The returner's going to try to see what he can get. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. First play of this drive comes from the 14-yard line. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. They force the negative play. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, one of the reasons this offense likes the option game with the quarterback is to use his speed and try to attack the perimeter of the field. The defense, though, not having any of it. You saw the contain on the play, forcing him back in the middle of the field, and they are able to corral him for a huge loss. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Wide open downfield. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. From the gun, the ground game. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains, and they're set up at the 41. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And the Spartans are marching down the field. They're going to ride this running back. Crosses the 40, gets it down to the 35 before he stopped a gain of six. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. Across the 25, he's got room. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He's got incredible speed. After an abysmal first half, goose egg on the scoreboard. The offense trying to find itself. It's first down. Defense there to stop him after he picked up a yard. Ball's at the 17. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. 
Now the play fake. Looking to scramble. Nifty little scamper on this one. And up for the first down. And he slides in safely. It's really hard on a defense to drop back and know it's pass. And then a quarterback like that, he just has the ability to pull it down and just bam, shoot through a hole, chew up yards so fast, outrun fast guys. It's just really hard to stop in today's football. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you got to get locked in in the red zone. A lot of defense coordinators will tell you, we'll give up yards, but we got to understand what we're trying to get accomplished. Great job down here near the goal line. This defense bowing their neck up and getting a big stop. After getting knocked back, it's second and goal from the four. He's going to the right, looking for a path to the end zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And on offense, you know this is four-down territory. You have to come away with the touchdown. You're getting boat raced in this game right now, and you're going to have to make this possession count. Yeah, definitely because of the slow start, now putting yourself behind the eight ball, I think this offense is going to have to be aggressive the rest of the game. They are still looking to put a dent in the scoreboard. It is third and goal. Coming after it. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punt. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. This offense has a second down play. The give to the back. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Line is set on third down. They'll go to the toss. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that is great third down and short defense. You're thinking up the middle, up the middle. you got to react to something wide. Great job seeing the toss, stretching it out, making sure they don't get downhill, making sure they don't get the first down. And the Ducks will send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Fair catch called for and made. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points.
What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Let's see what they've got on second down. Back to throw, it's Childs. Finds his big tight end. And an absolutely fearless tackle, giving up size, still got him on the turf. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. Makes the grab outside. It's Brown. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Stands in and takes the hit. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. He makes a catch. They're ripping off chunks of yard and take get it to the 33. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. The Spartans are flying down the field. They're going to throw it again. Makes the catch. It's Carter. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. Looking downfield, it's Childs. Quick strike complete. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in the pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? Looking to the big tight end. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Michigan State! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Number eight. How about the renaissance of the tight ends? In line, flexed out, split out. They can do a little bit of everything. They really can, and they're asked to block a lot of the times, too. But I'll tell you what, all the wide receivers out wide, the fancy toys, the fancy spread, don't forget about that tight end. He does a little bit of everything, and then you reward the big fella throwing the ball, and he catches. So he really can do a little bit of everything in an offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point cuts the lead to 28-10. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone. It's Robinson. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-whats. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. 
Quick completion on the out route. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. Well, the offense trying to attack the perimeter of the field in the passing game, and how about the, the sweet feet by the receiver on that play? Who doesn't like a little dash of the arts with their football? A little ballet moment there. On first down from their own 22. The give to the tailback. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Leaves it with the back. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Out of the gun, the gift to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. The Ducks will punt it away on fourth down. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's moving out of the pocket. Trying to escape and get it himself. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pickup there. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Childs. It's complete on the right side. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work that field and get the first down. And the Spartans are in the hurry up. To the air on first down. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Buys a little time with his feet. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Most offensive coordinators want to be really aggressive on second and short. And I love the quarterback here. He drops back the pass thinking being aggressive. Nothing available. Scramble. Give me an easy first down. The Spartans have this offense rolling. Comes out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Carter. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. Wants to fire on second down. Makes a connection. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. And the Spartans will snap it on first and ten. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Caught over the middle. It's Foster. 
They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. The aerial assault continues. It's complete! He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. The Spartans have it in scoring position on first and goal. Looking for the score! He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Spartans! And what a nice play call and nice execution. Play action, you're thinking run. Quarterback pulls it out throws the football right behind those guys and gets the touchdown. Yeah, it was a nice job there by the quarterback, too, on, on the ball handling. He just froze the defense just long enough to help those wide receivers and targets get some separation in the end zone, and at that point, it was just an easy pitch and catch. Lining up to add another. And they make the extra point to draw closer. It's 28-17. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. They're definitely up against it. Time running out. Down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. They're on it. They recover the onside kick, and they get it right back. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. Looking to go up top on first down. Throws for the tight end. Finds a man by himself. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. Back to pass, it's Childs. Getting some heat. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. He spikes it. Clock stops as they try to rally late. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He'll take a shot. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. You know, I feel for this offense, if they're going to get back in the game, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it with chunk plays. They're going to have to be methodical and generate some first downs and march down the field. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. And they can get it to a one-score game here, but they'll still need the ball back. No good after the missed field goal, still down by 11. Well, it's been a day to forget if you're this kicker. After that miss, he's now only one for four in this game. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Now the chance to take a knee and just put the finishing touches on this victory. Yeah, and this offense has done their job, man. They've been so productive, built the lead. Listen, their defense has pulled their weight as well. But now, Jesse, you get to exhale, you get to breathe, and you know we got the W, and we played well. And we got to think about where we're taking our girlfriend and parents for dinner, right? What side are we ordering with our giant steak? We've earned it in this game. Now it's time to go celebrate.